If you really want to scare yourself, look at this exercise, which I've written down within the book, Declutter Your Home. And it's, it's about looking at the actual financial cost of your clutter. Do you remember I've, I've spoke in a previous video about having approximately two and a half thousand books, which I had been basically dragging around over the decades from house to house and never really finding the property where I could set everything out on display or put everything onto shelving systems within a, a large study area. And so I was just carrying all this weight around, this accumulated dead energy of old books. In my example, those books filled 96 boxes, crates, or stackable containers of different types. They filled up a third of the available living space of the house that we had at the time, on which I was paying £1,200 a month for accommodation. A third of £1,200 is £400 a month. £400 a month is £4,800 a year as part of my accommodation costs. So over the course of five years, I had effectively spent £24,000 worth of my accommodation costs allocated purely to storing books. When I worked that out and it took 10 minutes, I realised the insanity of my hoarding, the stupidity of allocating basically dead money to the storage and movement of books of which I had predominantly taken the real benefit of, of learning and reading and education and entertainment. And I'd got all that value from it, but I was still clinging on to the physical item. Have a think about your own living space, whether you rent or you pay a mortgage or you have paid off the property and you have those regular overheads. What if 10% of your house is unusable space? That might be shelves that are full, an attic that is half full of rubbish and bric-a-brac and items that bring no value because you haven't looked inside that box for several years, you haven't taken out the item and used it and cherished it and taken value from it and it's filling up your space. If you're paying a thousand pounds a month for accommodation, every month a hundred pounds is allocated to you providing a home, providing a space for items that you do not use, that have no intrinsic value and which bring no pleasure to you on a regular basis. If 20% of your household area is full of clutter and you cannot use 20% of your living space, you're paying more than you need every month for the accommodation that you use on the basis that you could probably live very happily in 80% of that space if you got rid of and pushed that clutter out of your life for once and for all. I hope that makes you sit up and take count. I hope it makes you think about what it is that you are dragging around with you that need not be a part of your life, but also what else could you do with an extra 20% of your after-tax income if you put that to something other than paying for the storage of your items. Take that argument just a tiny bit further forward and think about if you had that 20% in your bank account, in your savings account, what could you purchase? What memories could you buy with some travel or some holiday trips? What education could you pay for? At the moment, the funds that potentially would allow you those opportunities, they are all tied up in storing your clutter, paying for the space of those items which you are pulling around with you from property to property. I guess I've got your attention now, even if it is a painful way to have that realization that the cost of your clutter is a significant thing and you could be doing something better with the financial cost of maintaining that clutter in the space that is your, your home or your living environment. It won't be an easy journey to let go of your clutter, but the process of going through your house room by room and starting to identify what you no longer need, what no longer brings value or pleasure to you and which you could let go of. Having a calculation of all those items in your house is a simple process because once you have a list or a summary of the things that you no longer need or require, at that point 
you are able to follow a very simple process and move them out of your home.